Hi, it's you and I. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a detailed explanation of how to do an extended braid ponytail. Now this is about 12 or 13 years of trial and error, so I feel like I've mastered this style enough to show you guys exactly how to do it. We're going to be using the Edge Booster Pomade for thick and coarse hair. I thought it was so cute because it matched my edge brush. So let's get down to the mold of the ponytail. If your hair is thicker, you're going to want to do more sections when molding the ponytail so that you can really get the flat look. Versus if you have thin hair, you would probably need to do just like two or three sections. Total on my whole head, I did about seven sections just to mold this entire hairstyle. Yes, I had to spend extra, extra time on my kitchen, y'all. Um, I did end up pulling out the back pieces just for like a cuter look, but the kitchen is mandatory. So this is where I'm moving on to the front section of my hair and I had to divide that into three pieces obviously because I did like a three part ponytail vibe. I've seen a couple tutorials on YouTube where girls are adding like another section to the ponytail and then wrapping a whole nother rubber band on top. If you want a headache for the next week every single day then you go ahead and do that. But I'll tell you now, it's very, um, it's a little tiresome, but it's beneficial to constantly do the ponytail over every time you add a new piece of hair, just to smooth out and make it flatter because the placement will get better each time you do the ponytail. how like shiny and not bumpy my ponytail is like we're not even done yet it just looks so smooth and especially with like my two little baby hairs out in the back oh it just looks fire I'm not even going to lie, after I did this mold, I went straight to bed. I was just hot and tired. The next day. All right, it's day two. I noticed that when I woke up, how dry my ponytail looked. So I was just looking at it kind of funny because, girl, where did all that shine go? But I'm pretty sure it's because my scarf be falling off my head when I go to sleep. Um... But actually, guys, go to my TikTok page because I recently got a promo deal with this bonnet company that is, like, top tier. And my bonnet does not fall off when I sleep anymore. And I just really love that. Also, I bought a silk pillowcase off of Timu. So, y'all need to vibe real quick because I know everybody struggles with having their bonnet on. Honestly, a lot of my friends be saying that they don't struggle with that. So, I think it's just me. But either way, if you do struggle with that, then now you know. Okay, this is the part of the process that will piss you off if you let it. So I start dividing my hair into three pieces and I take that first piece on the left and immediately put it under the second piece, right? So now the second piece is on the left. I add hair before I even start braiding. One, because my ends are kind of blunt and two, my hair is just not that long. This part is probably interesting too. I'm adding hair to both sides of the braid. Usually, like, when I do knot lists or something, um, I'll just add pieces to the side that I'm comfortable on. But it's important to use both sides of the braid to add hair. I've seen braided ponytails done where you can tell someone was only adding hair on one side 
and then their natural hair is kind of just all on one side and I can't do that because like I said my hair is short so I need that support of the weave for both sides and if you notice I don't continue on a section until I brush it now I'm smoothing the pomade onto the ends of my hair so that it can blend and I don't have flyaways coming out of my braid also real quick I have a trick if you do ever run into a piece that is just so stubborn and just won't like stay down smooth down the area with the edge booster apply got to be spray smooth that down and then blow dry that piece and it will not fly up at all i think i added total about four pieces of hair and i didn't want them too long so i didn't have to feed in that much after that but the pieces were also very thick so i tried to match the thickness of the piece of weave to the thickness of one piece of hair. So remember in the beginning when we split one section of hair into three, I'd make a piece of weave as thick as one of those three pieces. And this is exactly why we add the hair immediately because now that my hair is coming to an end in the braid, the weave is going to take over the thickness that my hair like obviously no longer can do honestly it's like all math if you're adding a piece of hair that's as thick as one strand and you're adding it to all of the strands then you're just replacing it for when you finally get down and there's no more natural hair left and it's still the same size like it just makes sense i literally went through trial and error trying to figure out how big to do the pieces of hair because at one point i was adding hair that was the size of the whole section multiple times and it was just a hot freaking mess so that is the math behind the ponytail also i'm not gonna lie something that i noticed in a lot of the girls videos on youtube that be doing like tutorial on braided ponytails they never show the back of the ponytail like none of them, girl. I saw one girl do a whole video facing the camera. Like, how are you gonna tell me what's going on behind your head and you won't even show me the back of your head? Like, that's why I made this video specifically so you guys can see my whole shit, my whole trial and error, how many times it took me to do something like. And for when I get it perfect, that's important. Like, I'm not just gonna do it half ass for the video and now my hair looks crazy. Like, I did this shit probably like four times, but. The tips that I have worked, I took my time, I was patient, and I feel like that's the most important steps out of everything. Prime example. Oh shit, fell out. Like, I don't want that to happen to y'all because I'm not showing y'all exactly what to do. Because if that shit happens in real life, then y'all will unsubscribe. And I don't want that. Now we start over smooth the hair before you even make a move brush that hair i didn't show how many times i did it but i was brushing the same part probably about 50 times just to make sure nothing goes wrong y'all and see look my grip is even tighter now i'm taking my time i'm smoothing a lot more because that's all it takes is the proper prep Your 
Y'all, look at that homegrown ponytail. That ponytail looks like it grew out of my damn scalp, sis. Now we're going to attach these little curly things, dip our hair, and get it moving. Because this whole hairstyle took me two days, but that's fine. Total, it was probably like four hours total from beginning to end. Actually, I'm lying because that's not even including the, the blow dry and flat iron practice. So whatever, y'all get the vibes. Anyways, hope you guys liked it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.